Everything you read in the mainstream media is 100% true. Please, go back to your jobs. If you have not got a job, you are a worthless human being. Consume, consume, consume until we have no planet left to consume. What you need to do is buy things that you don't need. That's the best way to support the economy. Smiling is bad for the economy. Please do not smile. Sir, please, move swiftly to your next shopping experience. It's very important for children to be trained in ripping people's bodies to shreds. So come and buy some games with lots of killing and destruction and war. Independent thoughts lead to chaos. Thinking is boring. Thinking is hard work and it's not worth the energy. If you see a Buddhist on the street, try and get them to leave their religion. Buddhists are trying to get us to meditate. Meditation is a waste of good shopping time. Miserable people shop more, so please remain as miserable as you can. You know, other aliens on my planet, they call you sheeple, not people. I will not stoop so low. <laughs> it's very nice that we have security in a corporate zone imitating public servants. Be nice right, to me. Right, right. Not allowed. Not allowed. Not so. What have we right. got allowed to do? It's a little paperwork. My paperwork? Can I ask you, sir, why are you dressed up impersonating a police officer? I suggest you put your megaphones down and stop protesting, please. You're suggesting yes, that I, I put am. my megaphone down and stop protesting? Now. I am not protesting. I am just speaking through a megaphone. Well, you're not and what I do is give people like you hugs. No, you what you need is a hug. You no, you do need a hug. No, you won't, sir. Uh, excuse me, sir. You calm it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Keep it calm. Keep it calm. Get back inside and get back to work. That's what you should be doing. Stop putting your head out of bed. Never mind your lunch hour. The more you work, you better. Because when you die, you'll regret that you haven't worked more. Uh, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, if you're told not to film this, that is an abuse of power. You are completely entitled to film whatever you like. And that is on the Metropolitan Police website. So please continue. Isn't it amazing when people are in uniform, they completely lose their mind? I'll listen to you without the megaphone, if you don't mind. I know you do, but I prefer to speak on a megaphone so everybody knows what I'm saying. You haven't got permission to be up here. No one has got permission to be up here. Hold on a second. Excuse me, madam. Do you have permission to be here? Do you have permission? Do you have permission? You're a very, very naughty lot of people. I think we're going to have to get a lot of police out here. See, something, something's happened about the police force in the last oh, 30 years. Happened, and and what's happened is that instead of them being here to protect us, yeah. yeah what you started to become is a corporate gang, a gang of corporate security people that go around fining people for saying words. You, 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 you sort of lost touch with what you're really here to do, which Have is I? to help us. It fe feels like it, yeah. Because really? you're not help really helping anybody by, by fining him for saying the word shit or whatever other words. Does anyone else notice how Canary Wharf security uniforms look suspiciously like public servant police uniforms? Yet they are private employees of a private area, yet they are allowed to wear a uniform which looks exactly like a police uniform. Because we are entering what some people call a police state. I would call it a Canary Wharf security state. Capitalism is a wonderful system. Okay, a few billion people get nothing, but still, Think of all the people that get lots. Don't worry about the fact that the Chinese people had to work for 50 cents a day. They're Chinese, who cares? There's a billion of them. What I'm going to say to you guys in personation the police is this is nothing personal, and I'm going to show you how much this is nothing personal. Before open, we? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, the true thing is, I know we're creating a scene, but the creating a scene is not illegal. You are born free, you will live free, you will die free. You are allowed to make a scene, you're allowed to scream for joy, you're allowed to complain, you're allowed to cry, you're allowed to love people, you're allowed to hug people. And we're starting to live in a world where we're starting to feel scared, we're starting to forget just how divine and special we are as human beings. Every single one of you is the only example of you that will ever exist. And there's not a single authority on this world, especially not private security men, who can tell you how to behave in any time, any place, anywhere. You are free, you will live free, you will die free. The only chains that exist are in your mind. You can do anything you want if you put your mind to it. Stop filming! Stop filming! There is CCTV cameras all over the place. Yeah. How come you've got the right to film me? Stop, please. Stop tell, me what the is. tell me what the Stop law is. Tell me what the law is. You can't take it's it off with that private property. 
Let's spend the next two minutes hugging as many people as you can. Okay, that's enough now. Go back to your work and your job and go back and do what you're told. Please carry on, you're wasting valuable shopping time. Many checkers and uniform people. If he goes into the wrong ends, they know who we are. He's coming in. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, film me, film me, it's fine. No, Your picture's being taken by CCTV all the time. Why does it bother you if we take it or if the British Transport Police take it? No. Guys, you've you lost your mind. Right. So all we're doing is just filming in the station. Yeah, but you, you ain't got permission to... The reason behind that is, for example, things like terrorists, okay? Just to give you an example. Uh-huh. You know, they could be filming sort of undercover. Do you think perhaps we might be terrorists? Don't say nothing, sir. Let's start Ladies and gentlemen, I'm not allowed to tell you what this man just told me. It's top secret. Ladies and gentlemen, to do with terrorists. Just to let you know, terrorism is just a word, and it's a very clever word used to control you. Terrorism, 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 Al-Qaeda, Mohammed, terrorism, terrorism, war in Iraq, war in Afghanistan, Al-Qaeda, Osama bin Laden, Bora Bora, Afghanistan, terrorism, stay scared, stay separate, terror, 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 terror is bad, you are bad, go shopping, stay scared. There is no difference really between terrorism and war, and therefore the war on terrorism is like having a war on war. Also, what the gentleman said is that our footage from our friends who are filming will be downloaded by Al-Qaeda, who will then single all of you out and blow you all up individually with an airliner. Ladies and gentlemen, drinkers of Bar 38, if I may have your attention for a second, this is a message from the architect of the Matrix. We would like to thank you all for having no imagination and picking a corporate chain bar. Hold on a second, Charlie. This guy looks a bit like a terrorist, doesn't he? It's the dark skin, the long hair, and the tie makes him look. He's trying to make out that he's not it's one. Not You're, are you a terrorist, sir? No, I'm definitely not a terrorist. You're not? Well, that's what you would say if you were a terrorist, wouldn't you? You wouldn't say, yes, I am. That's exactly what terrorists say. If you see a terrorist or someone looking like this man, report him to the police immediately. We need to rid the world of terrorists and people with swine flu. Always do what the police tell you to do and everything will be fine. I'd like to thank the City of London Police for doing a wonderful job in their fluorescent jackets and protecting us all from the terrorists. The media is telling us to always be scared to do terrorism and like the economic recession, so we're just trying to do the opposite and say that everything's ah, fine. Okay. So true happiness can only come from within. And um, so we should stop looking for like, other things to try and make us happy or scared or full of fear. And if we just realize for one second that everything that we want in life is infinite and within us, we could spread love and tell everyone that everything's okay. Uh, okay.